What's going on guys? Today I want to show you this HD TV antenna that will allow you to get free TV channels at Ultra HD or 1080p. No monthly fee or contract is required. And then on the back of the box it shows you a basic way to set it up with your TV, but I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. It runs at a frequency between 170 to 240 megahertz or 470 to 860 megahertz and it is powered over the USB port on the back of your TV. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the box and we're gonna hook it up and see how it works. All right, in the box, they give you a, looks like a coax to RCA type adapter. We've got two mounting screws and two drywall plugs, two cable ties, a sticky mount to where you could just peel it and stick it on the wall. Of course, it comes with an instruction manual. All right, and finally, here is the antenna itself. It is very sleek and modern looking. I don't have any issues with the appearance. It has a super long, nice coax cable, so you can mount this outside, you can mount it in a window, you can mount it on the wall, you can mount it under your desk. Obviously, the higher and better place you can mount this, um, the better your signal you're gonna have for your area. It does also have a pole mounting bracket here on the back, so you could mount it to a pole. Now this coax cable runs from the antenna into this little box, which has a switch for long range or short range. So this is going to select how far away your local stations may be. And then we've got our power cable plugged in here and then the other end will go to the USB on our TV. And then we have the coax cable coming out of here that will plug into the back of the TV. All right, so without further ado, let's get this installed and check it out. First thing I'm gonna do is install the coax cable onto the back of the TV connection. Make sure you get it screwed in all the way till it stops turning so you know you've got a good connection. Step one is complete. Now we just need to plug in our USB cable. So you may have to uh, look around and make sure you can find your USB port on your TV. Okay, for the sake of this video, I have the antenna positioned over in the living room window. And that's the best I can do right now without having to get up on the roof and actually install it to a pole or something like that. That would be your best setup. Uh, let's go ahead and get the TV checked out and see what we get. All right, first thing you need to do is set your input to TV or your cable mode. So we've got the menu pulled up. Now I'm gonna go down and look for something that says auto program. And that's all we should really have to do. Let's click on auto program and start the automatic mode. And you'll see now that it is searching for uh, available channels. So we're gonna let it run its thing and then come back and see what we got. All right guys, and it's finally done, and it looks like we picked up NBC as a, just an example channel here. And it looks totally fine, totally usable. The flickering that you see on the TV is due to the frame rate of the camera. Um, and this is a plasma TV, so that's just the refresh rate thing with the camera thing, so. It doesn't actually flicker like that. It has nothing to do with the antenna. But yeah, so now you have access to any channels in your area that you have available. So um, depending on where you're at, it may be different. It's super easy to get set up and running and also it looks great. So there's no, really no downside to it. The product claims it can reach up to 400 miles away. So that's awesome to see. So be sure to check this one out and give it a look. And thank you all for watching this video and have a great day.